Now to a, an amazing story about two sisters who didn't know the other existed. After a year's long journey, they not only found one another, but they have now built a business empire. Crystal Young has this very sweet story. Check it out. It's always the right time to try a delicious new wine, but McBride Sisters Wine is a wine with a story. I'm in Soho at the World of Macintosh Townhouse, and I'm going to introduce you to Andrea and Robin McBride. Cheers, Cheers to meeting you, ladies. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> you two, oddly enough, grew up in wine country, but on different continents. So new Zealand, and I grew up in Monterey, California. Wine country, beautiful coastal little areas, but we had no idea that each other existed. So we both thought that we were only children um, wow. most of our lives until 1999. On his deathbed, Kelly McBride asked family members to reconnect his daughters. After a four-year search, his prayers were answered. This photo shows Robin and Andrea's tears of joy during their first meeting. We met under such serendipitous circumstances we felt like. God, the world, the universe, whatever you believe, yeah. is telling us we need to be in the wine industry. And that's how McBride Sisters Wine was born. Now, less than 20 years later, their company is the largest African-American-owned wine brand. We started with the sparkling rosé from their new McBride Sisters collection, then moved on to this Chardonnay that pairs perfectly with this wine-soaked shrimp scampi and asparagus on crostini. The uh, fruit flavors in the wines balance really nicely against the olive oils and butters that are in the shrimp. Two for two, ladies. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next up, wine-spiked barbecue chicken wings made with this red blend of Merlot, Zinfandel, a little bit of Petite Syrah, and Malbec. And finally, sangria, anyone? For an easy five-minute cocktail, mix Sauvignon Blanc, vodka, berries, and your favorite stone fruits. I love the story, Thank and I you. love that the wines have a New Zealand connection and an American connection. You cover all the bases. You guys are beautiful. Continued Aww. success. Cheers! Aren't you lucky? I they're, am. They're beautiful. They're wonderful people. Lovely. They really are. And this yes. is their collection, by the way. Right. right. You got it. There's one missing. They have yeah. a sparkling rosé, but this is from their new collection in stores now. And I can personally tell you that I've sipped all three. You've tried them all. And they really <laughs> and are very, good. very tasty. How did you get to this store? How you know, it's funny. Months ago, yeah. I read about them in Marie Claire magazine, mm. and then again in Glamour magazine. So mm. this story apparently resonated with people and was written about several times, and I just sort of thought, oh, very yeah. interesting, and marked it away. And then I read that they were coming to New York City, and I was like, why does McBride sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Bing, 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 because I'd there already read are. about them. Yeah. They were absolutely lovely, and I love the oh, fact that they're able to take the wines and say, this mm -hmm. is what you can do in terms of food. I know. I mean, the story of how they met and yes. then going into business. Yeah. Now they've cut a deal, I understand, a little collaboration effort with Murray's famous cheese shops in New York. Exactly. Tell us about that. So they're talking about wine pairing. So we obviously know wine and cheese, mm -hmm. perfect together. Right. So the rosé, the sparkling rosé, they say goes great with goat cheese. Ah. And the Sauvignon Blanc here goes great with triple cream cheese. So wine and cheese, how Very can nice. you go Take it all. All right. Crystal, thanks I a will. lot. Cheers <laughs> to you. Thank Save you, me a bottle. Thank all you. All right, we just had the...